are on our first morning. We got here at about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Had a little bit of trouble getting into the spot. Almost earned our first battle scars on our trailer. Came within about an inch of smacking it into a tree, so that wouldn't have been nice. The temperature when we got here was about 95 degrees, so no problem with the batteries being able to handle the higher heat. The other thing that I did find out is that we can operate on one battery in a pinch. When we got here, I had planned to originally check the state of charge of the batteries before we got started, but after the little drama with the trailer, we jumped right into setting everything up. So we did all of our setup and then I checked the batteries only to find that we were only drawing current from one of the batteries at a time. When I opened up the battery case, I found that the nut on this negative terminal had loosened and this wire was actually loose and not making full contact. A little plane going overhead. That's not the ambiance you want. Anyway, once I tightened that terminal back up, I saw about 15 amps of current flowing from battery two to battery one, and the voltage pretty quickly equalized. We started the batteries at about 94% indicated capacity last night, and this morning after a full night of running lights, the water pump for bathroom, and doing dishes for an unnecessarily complex shrimp pasta bowl, we're now at about 80% capacity. So we're not gonna have any problem being able to make it through a full day like we wanted. I have noticed that the voltage level is a little different between the batteries and the discharge current is also a little different. Battery two is consistently a little lower in voltage and drawing a little less current than battery one. I think this is because of the extra cabling that I used to connect battery two in place. I needed a two foot battery cable and I went ahead and used one of the cables that was left over from the original battery installation on the RV. And I don't know what kind of quality that cable is. So that's something I'll have to look at when we get home. But for now, we're going to go enjoy the day. Unlike yesterday that was 95, now it's about 65, so a lot more pleasant. And then we'll check back later and see how the batteries are doing. We're at about 5, 13 p.m. Let's see where we're at on the battery. So after more than a full day of use, we are currently at 72%. So we dropped about 22% from last night when we first measured this. If we look at the second battery, the first battery is at 13.28 volts. This one's at 13.26 volts, so a little bit lower, about 71%. So that's tracking with where I've been with these batteries. Oh, hello, bug. So I think what we're gonna go ahead and do now is try running the generator a little bit, see if we can top them off just a little bit. But, you know, if we wanted to, we could just let them go and by tomorrow we'd probably be at, you know, 50%, something like that. But we do plan on trying to take some showers tonight, which will, which will use a lot of juice with that water pump. So we probably want a little extra fuel in the tank just to make it sure that we're not running on fumes in the morning, which I don't think we will be at this point. So this is looking really good. Doing a little load testing here. This is what the fan takes. So we went from 0.68 amps up to two amps. Can you shut it off real quick again? So it takes about 1.1 
times two, so two amps. Okay, that's not bad. Go for it. No, go for it. I just want to make sure it's not steamy if you're going to come in Yep, no, that's great. All right, do it. Oh, of course it'll be steamy if I come in there. Hot, and hot and sweaty. Okay, we're going to do the ultimate test here. We're going to go ahead and have my wife take a shower, which will have the water pump running quite a bit. So basically, we'll be able to see what a uh, shower costs us per shower unit. So starting out at 13.27 volts and 71.59 amp hours. And we'll check back in a few minutes. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Turns out my wife is extremely good at taking fast, efficient showers. So we're only down to 71.29 amp hours. Barely budged the needle on the voltage. And looks like we could take about, you know, 100 showers a day and still be good. So yeah, we'll get right on that. So the moral of the story is, we don't need to conserve anymore. Just go and enjoy camping. Use all those services you've got and live in luxury. Awesome. Last minute change of plans last night. Rather than running the generator, we decided to go Vegas style and just let it ride, and it actually worked out great. We woke up this morning with about 61%, 59% battery left, which is still really good. So we'll go ahead and run them today to top them off, but so far we know we can go easily about two days, assuming we're not running uh, the propane furnace or something like that that'll take power all night on a real moderate day like this. Uh, we can go a couple of days now without recharging, so that's even better than we expected. By the way, if you ever want to know what the definition of luxury is, it's being able to take a shower when you're dry camping. There is nothing better than that kind of a thing at the end of the day after a dusty hike and hot weather, so that is really, really good. And the other reason, the other reason to make these batteries is what we had this morning, which is our neighbor firing up this big old generator this morning at about 7.30, because apparently he has our old batteries. So you definitely need to build these. on the second day of running on these batteries. We're gonna see where our batteries are at and then we're also running the generator now. So we're gonna see what kind of charge rates we're getting with the generator and our converter. And we're starting out at 57% or 13.4 volts on battery one. And you can see that we're getting about 18 and a half amps of charge current on this battery. If we switch over to the second battery. You see that that battery is 13.3 volts and getting 11.28 amps. So you can see what I'm saying that this one's both getting less current when charging and also uh, having less current drawn from it when discharging. So there's a bit of an imbalance there. So we'll see what happens with these if we let this generator run for about an hour. Okay, here we are one hour later. So battery one is now at 13.56 volts, showing 73.22 amp hours of capacity, which is an increase from what we started of an amount that I'll have to go back and look at and put here on the screen, about here. And then battery two, which is still charging at a much lower rate, <clears throat> is at 13.48 volts, so about a tenth of a volt difference and registering 59.62 amp hours of capacity. Enough of this for now, let's get back to camping. Third morning, packing up. Just a quick check-in of where we are with our batteries. And we're currently running at 13.07 volts on the first battery, and 13.05 on the second battery. So we've basically run for three days on these batteries with running the generator for one hour. So this has more than exceeded our expectations and needs of being able to run a full day. 
we could run just about three days at the current level of usage that we used, which is a little less than normal because we haven't had to run the propane furnace or any other real heavy loads this last few days. So for these nice mild spring and summer camping trips, this 200 amp hours of battery will last us for multiple days. The only thing we really need to do is maybe look at how we can get more energy into the batteries per hour of charge and see why we're only getting about 30 amps or less, maybe 28 amps of charge going into the batteries when we run our converter. I think it has to do with the length of wire between the converter and the batteries. Our converter is all the way, all the way at the back of the trailer and the batteries are all the way up here at the front. I think these wires here, I gotta look, what are they actually? Good luck telling, they were painted over nicely from the factory. But these don't look like very thick wires, so I'm gonna guess something like six gauge. So six gauge wires running from here all the way back to the converter, and that's not exactly helping it. So we could probably improve that. Also, we still need to work on the dissimilarity between the voltage on the two batteries. See if we can trace that down when we get home. And maybe double our capacity just for grins and add an inverter. But hey, there's always something to do with improving these systems. So with that though, we're gonna keep our tearing down of our campsite and getting ready to go home. And I look forward to putting this together in a video and wrapping it all up. Thank you.